How do we figure out whether ne negative 2, 3 is the solution? Yeah, plug it in and it works in both, then it is, right? Okay, so 3 times negative 2 plus 4 times 3, does that equal 6? That's negative 6 plus 12, does that equal 6? Yes. yes. Okay, and then on the second line, put 3 in for y. Is one, what's 1 minus negative 2? Is it equal 3? No. Yes. Yes. So what's my answer to number 1? Just kidding. Yes. Works in both. It's a common solution for both equations. Number 3. I'll just go up here. Uh, same thing except for, well, this one's an inequality, like less than and greater than. So same thing, but 3 plus negative 2, is that less than 2? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. 3 plus negative 2 is 1. So it's less than 2. And then the other one is, is negative 2 plus 2 times 3. Is that greater than or equal to 4? 2 times 3 is 6, plus negative 2 is 4. Yeah. Is that greater than or equal to 4? Okay, number five is graphing. So in total, we're gonna have seven graphs. So Should I go up one, and then where do I go from there, Macy? Over two. No. Down two over one. Yeah. Rise, negative two, so down two, and run one. Down two and right one. It's like Age of Ultron. Okay, where am I going to start my other graph at? Down four. And where am I going to go from there? Down one over three. Or yes. Yeah. Down one, right three. Or you could go 
go backwards, so up one, left three. Okay. Okay, is that it? We're done? Um, we have to write are we? Shay, then? No, okay. no, 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 when? Then, yeah, when do we do shading? That's the greater than, than the we shade. Yeah, right? on inequalities. So this is not a shading one. The shading problems are actually at the very end of the sun, like number 15. Um, but there is something we are supposed to do. The intersecting dot. Right. That point where the two lines intersect is the common solution. That's what we're actually looking for. And what is that point? Five, okay, five. Five, or sorry, no. Three, what? Five. Try again. Substitution. You substitute. You find what you substitute. <laughs> right. We want to say x equals, yes, we want to say x equals or y equals, so get x by itself. Um, let's get the dark blue out. So, you're going to minus the 2y, x equals 4 minus 2y. You guys remember what we did at this point? Yeah. Take everything that x is equal to and replace x in the other equation with that. Yeah. Okay, if negative y equals zero, then what? You divide by negative one. Well, zero, zero divided by negative one is still zero. If y is zero, let's go put that back somewhere right here. Four, my, what's four minus two times zero? Still using substitution. So. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. 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 Shut up.
Next section is substitution, so we can do that here in a second. We're going to take everything that y is equal to and replace y in the other equation. So the bottom equation becomes y. Okay, 
Number 13 says solve each system using the method of your choice. So you can do whatever you want to. Actually, there's not a lot of options for number 13 because they tell us what Y is. So really all we can do is put that in the other equation and figure out what X is. So 6X plus 1 equals 7. <coughs> So what is x? One. One. So really, even though they gave us the what y was, you still need to put that as part of your answer. X equals one, y equals one. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that was really easy. One. Well, it's the first one in the section, so they usually try to stop. They usually start off easy. Is that, the, is, that the, is that like the next one? Uh, no, 14 is like a normal one. Well, oh, 14 no, is actually, no, 14 is pretty similar because on the bottom, you see how it doesn't have an X? So if you just add 4 on the bottom, then you you already know what Y is. I meant like 15. 15 is a normal problem. Okay, so... We're choosing on this one, so should we do, you guys want to do substitution or elimination? Uh, elimination. Elimination. How could I get rid of the y's? Multiply, multiply by, by negative one. Right. If I multiply like the bottom times negative one, basically all those signs switch. You multiply by negative one. So I got 1x minus 4x. The y's go away. And negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. What's negative 6 divided by negative 3? And then I'm going to put 2 back into the top one. 2 minus y equals negative 2. Can we solve that without using algebra? What two minus what number would give you negative two? Four. Four, that is correct. Ding, ding, ding. If you use algebra, you have to minus the two. Oh. And you get negative y equals negative four. So anyway, y equals four is correct. Remember, you can check your answers. Like if I plug this in the second equation, it works also. That would be a really useful trick for like taking a test. What would be different color? To check your answers? Yeah. How do you do that You just plug in. Okay, so once you got once I got two, I just put it here. Remember doing that? You basically have to do that on every problem. Except for the graphing problem. Once you get one answer, you have to plug it back in and find the other one. Wow. What? Andrew Garfield? No. That and JJ. It activates the what? Answer, so touching it. A bowl of trash. I never knew. We should do a different color. I've never heard of them. Okay, well, what color do you want? That person won't put the question. That's disgusting. We should do it. It's got all of them. I should do the lady. It's just disgusting. That's all I do. It's just mean. Dark. Wait, we should do a mix of them. Yeah, you said that. We should do a mix of them. We did. Okay. Number 17. X minus 2Y equals negative 42. Number 16. 17. Just like you. Yeah. 17. You accidentally complimented somebody. <laughs> that was on purpose, but okay. You complimented somebody on purpose? That's not possible. I don't know. Although that seems the eye I've gotten. I'm not that mean. I'm not even mean. Uh oh. <laughs> Me and Shannon. Mm -hmm. Bye. If you really think about it, like really hard. You have the teacher going against you, Shannon. 
Stop. Yeah, it's not just you, you know. Yeah, it looks like Anna. I don't know what? if any of the uh, nice. girls want to each other. Okay, nice. so I've... what should we do? Substitution or elimination? Okay, oh. yeah, you can do either. They both work, but usually, unless it's set up for substitution, like it says X equals, I'm probably going to use elimination. So, how could I eliminate the X's? Negative okay. 3 times 2 to the Y. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch colors again. So, we'll multiply the top times. Why do you have to write so much? Negative three. Because <laughs> yeah. um, that will give us negative three x, right? Well, that yeah. That'll work. Oh, that's a big number. 126. Yeah, that red is really good. When you're looking directly on, the red looks really good. Yep. Well, like, <laughs> really good. Like, really good. <laughs> What's it look like if you go over here? It looks like blood. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like a red. I wish it was your blood. Okay, then we're adding the two lines together. The x's go away. Negative 1 plus 6y. Negative 31 plus 126. The same thing as 126 minus 31. I believe that's 95, is it not? Um, How many times does 5 go into 95? Multiple. Uh, 19. Really? That's crazy. Oh, I didn't play. I played that. Oh, I did it this time. Okay. Did you eliminate the y's instead? Yeah. Okay, if I put. 19 back, uh, maybe uh, let's do oh, put right there. Oh. Oh. 3x, one, where are we gonna put in? Oh. I'm going to put in this one. Minus 19. Stop. Stop. Okay, what's negative 12 divided by 3? Equals 
So, zero divided by five is zero. Is zero. I hate, I hate writing fives. They're so mad. Any food and how much? Wait, wait. <laughs> what food would you have in front of you right now? If I could, I will have uh, <laughs> salmon olives. Pumpkin pie. With salmon olives, that kill you? My, my mom's so fiance cool. said that yeah. I feel like I'm hyperventilating when I laugh. Yeah, that's what it, yeah, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> or that's what it sounds like. I feel like I'm just trying to eat it. 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 All right, Which what should we do on this one? Is this 21? Okay. No, yes. 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 Multiply I can't see. the bottom by negative one. That's just going to switch. You can multiply the top also, but it's just going to switch them all to negative. And when we add on the left side, what do we get? Zero. Zero. When we add on the right side, we get... It's not four. Zero. Is it, the, is it the circle with the one through it? Yeah, no solution. It's impossible to have two numbers add up to eleven and the same two numbers add up to seven. Well, that's fine. Wait, hold on. No solution. Okay. Who does it? Hey, quiet. A number 23, okay, by the way, I should, I'm going to warn you guys, uh, number 12 and 22 both have fractions, so, but I don't see any other problems like that, so, 12 and 22 both have fractions, okay, yes, all right, number 23, but describe the relationship of two lines, that have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. Parallel lines. Parallel lines, do you guys agree? Wait, yeah. that's just oh. Same slope, but different y-intercepts. So it's just? Parallel lines. Do we, we don't draw that, we just put parallel lines? Yes, it's not a, yeah, it's just an answer. Parallel. Is that the same for 3, 4, 3, 5, and 3, 6? Yeah, they're like that. 24, describe the relationship of two lines that have different slopes. Perpendicular. Okay, if they have different slopes, uh, they eventually run into each other. What's that called? Perpendicular. Oh, perpendicular. No, perpendicular.
So they still intersect, but they also are, I know they have to intersect at the y-axis. So they intersect at the y-axis, or on the y-axis. So just write that, they intersect on the y-axis. my paper when I'm writing. I'm just like staring at it. Because you're trying to be neat. No. 26. Describe the relationship <laughs> of two lines. They have the same slope and the same y-intercept. That's the line. The same. It's the same line. It's the same line. The book's term for that is, is yeah, it's basically the same line. In Double line. So what is they call it coinciding. That just means they occur together. Um, if you said the same line, I'll just double count. line. Coinciding means something that's occurring at the same time, oh. basically. It's like coin. Wait, coincidence. Coinciding. Oh my gosh. Co oh my gosh. That sounds really It's kind of like. Now we have one word in the Coinciding. Coinciding. Oh, no, I would change the like definition of coinciding. It's not called 13 days. It sounds like you would call someone that, like, they're so coinciding. It's coincidence. It's, you might, sh you might actually hear that word if it's, it's like, uh, um, if your birthday was, like, at Christmas, you could say your birthday coincides with Christmas or something. Or Jesus. Okay, what? If I leave dying, would you guys take to the hospital? No. <laughs> no, he's, Are you dying? no, he's hesitating. He's like, 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 Somebody would definitely drive you to the hospital. But, like, no, he was just not him. him. Hold on, so, like, would you call 911 and wait for the ambulance to get here? No, he yes, that's called kidnapping. Well, it depends on the situation. If she's unconscious, it's against her will. Would you, would you drive me yourself, or would you just like drop me off with some office person? And, like, they all were on the ground and like that. It might be mystery, so I don't know. Easy. <laughs> so you just continue to make a classroom and die. Here's the bridge. Throw on the ground and like that. Yeah. We would get you out of here as soon as possible, okay? Uh, as soon as possible? As soon as possible. Hey, what happened to the mystery? We did a lot of things. Okay, number 27, we're gonna finish on 30 today, so we gotta wrap this up. Um, you don't really need to redo all the directions on 27. Basically, this section has a lot of no solution, infinite solution problems. Not all of them, but a lot of them are. But we're just gonna do the same things before and solve them. Um, so, Okay, x plus y equals 5, x plus y equals 2. Oh. What do we do substitution here? That one was close. Okay, you don't have to, no. no um, you can use whatever method. So what's the easiest method? So x uh, the cancel thing. Right. Yeah. Elimination. So what should I do first? Two. No. Multiply by negative 1. So what do I get on the left? 2. No. Zero. Zero. Oh. What do I get on the right? Two. Wait, no. What is that? No. Three. So what's Stop. Is that so what's the solution? answer? No solution. No solution. Oh. How many Wait, I'm still so in a while. Would it just is it a um, I'm never at like I was like five. Six. I think maybe they're all six. on the odds. You should do pink. Mr. Jordan, I have a question before you begin the. Okay. Would that be negative x minus y? Or just negative x? It's kind of like x plus negative x is 0, y plus negative y is 0. Cool. Okay. Alright, I'll be doing this one. If you're gonna do orange, do it on the white background because orange will not look the gray. <laughs>
Try to finish it tomorrow. I thought you said there were seven drafts. Yeah, the last four are at the end of the assignment, though. Okay. 